you're standing in the place of our victory. Amen. This is it. This is it. Archaeologists don't contest this. We know the place of the crucifixion. You'll walk upstairs and under an altar, there's a hole in the floor. You will touch the rock. We know the place of the empty tomb. There's carvings from the very first century there. You will stand in the empty tomb. It's empty. <laughs> there's no body in there. He's risen, guys. No, no, no other faith can claim this. No other philosopher, no other political leader. The tomb of our leader, of our founder in faith and hope is risen from the dead. His last words on the cross, it is finished. It's done. It's finished. What's finished? Fulton Sheen puts it beautifully. The war is finished. The war against darkness. And I'm not sure there's any city in history that, that's been conquered and reconquered and torn down and built up and have more words than the one we're standing in. Why this one? Because it came into the midst of our human darkness. He was born behind enemy lines. <laughs> and how far behind enemy lines did he go? He entered the tomb. That's how far he went. And he didn't win by removing all these things and making life easy. He won in an even, in an even more profound way by entering into the midst of it and changing it from within. So the tomb is the cradle of new life.